Hello, this is Mr. Warren K, the icon. I want to talk about um, people, um, women. It's not people. This, yeah, people. Uh, men and women. You know, I be seeing, I be on Facebook a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I be seeing a lot of shit. I gotta get on Twitter. I just don't know how to work that motherfucker. I like to post stuff every other day on Facebook. Twitter. You, my brother told me I post that shit on every day, and I said, shit, I don't know about all that. But uh, the problem. <laughs> It's funny because on Twitter, on Facebook, I just read the message, and it said, uh, "You say, you know, if you want to keep a female, you treat her like everybody else." But that goes both ways, you know what I'm saying? Because guys got emotions too, you know what I'm saying? It's like in society, we could kick, we cater all. Who the hell? Oh, they doing the roof. So what the fuck? There's not all nobody shooting out here. Where um. Yeah, but it's, it goes both ways. You can't just cater to females and forget about the guy because we got emotions too, you know what I'm saying? So I'm catering to you, spend all my resources on you, and the whole time, it's fuck me, you know what I'm saying? And then, but in the world, society, how they look at it, just look at the news. They give a fuck about women and babies. Women and children, that's all they give a fuck about. F fuck about, if you like, then you look at society again, session eight. Like, a woman could have a whole bunch of criminals and shit. It'd be a whole bunch of felons and shit. You a good guy, but you just down your luck. They give it to that woman first, and she's just going to do it. She's a repeat, a repeat offender, and she's going to keep doing the same shit. And, but it will help her more than help your ass, you know what I'm saying? And I just look at it like that. It's like they don't understand, as I said, I don't say as a black man, but as a man, it's we go through so because we bear the weight, you know what I'm saying? I mean... Women, they they bear weight. They give babies. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm I'm not saying they they don't, but at the same time, at the end of the day, it's the man's responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Because a man, you know what I'm saying? If I believe, if I really believe in God, because as a man, what can you look for when shit goes wrong? And then you got the you got your kids depend on you. Then you got your wife depend on you. I know there's a lot of single parents, a lot of single you know, women out here in this world that's making it on their own. And I salute them. But in the same time, I do salute them. I, I salute them. Because I see my mama make it on her own. You know what I'm saying? She didn't get married till I was 16. I was, we had, when I was 16, we was damn near grown. So I see her make it on her own for 16 years. So I salute them. But at the end of the day, if like, they don't, I don't, people don't talk about the stand-up guy. It's, a, it's only 5% of deadbeat niggas out here, you know what I'm saying? People is actually trying to work and survive and maintain for their fucking family. You feel what I'm saying? And it's, a, it's not a lot of, it's not, and then people pay attention to uh, the deadbeat. He left, ran down with his children and take care of his kids and all this shit. And then nobody really is quiet about the deadbeat mama. Because I got a deadbeat mama that, my, that the mama don't even want for me to see my damn son. And... It is like even though I'm paying child support, I'm down on my luck. I can't pay it right now. I got court with that's all. You just doing that because you just want to punish me. I said I'm doing that because I can't pay it and I don't want to jeopardize my life. And then it's like people, it's, it's, it's so many. It's not so many. It's, it's only five percent deadbeat people, but they take that little category and say all oh, men. This men that's out here that's actually doing something. What can a man say when everything go wrong? What what when a man loses his job and his bills to be paid? He got his wife and his kids. What can he go and look for comfort at? You know what I'm saying? You know, he got the wife and everything, but a wife, could also a woman could, I mean, got certain programs could help her. A man don't have that. So what if, like, okay, not even that. What if a man just got that he raising his kids? There's some men got their kids, which I want to have my son one day. But uh, it's, it's men that out here raising their children. I mean, there's no program out here to, to help him. What he can he go to um, help go for for help or something like that? Where can he go? You know what I'm saying? You know this is I, people don't talk about the, the the men out here. You know what I'm saying? The good brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's actually trying to do something and trying to be positive in their kids' life. And then when shit go down, you know what I'm saying? It just everybody want to, everybody want that Superman. That's no Superman. Like I made in the last video, is I prefer to be Clark, Clark Kent because that's no such thing as no Superman. Now in certain situations, I could be Superman. Man. But it's but in but in reality, ninety percent of the time, even though Superman was Superman, he ninety percent of the time he was Clark Kent. You know what I'm saying? Because 
you know, where I cannot be vulnerable at. You know what I'm saying? Where can a man go for his piece to be vulnerable at? You know what I'm saying? That's why I try to talk about to all my guys, the good guys. I ain't talking about these dead be leeching off uh, women and shit, trying to find a home and just lay up and shit, trying to get uh, find a, a woman that got a stable environment, trying to live on her. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the men that actually got their own shit, got a good job, and you know what I'm saying? Where they go? You know what I'm saying? There's nowhere for them to go. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They got to be the Superman all the time. I mean, that's strenuous. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't got no programs to help them. You know what I'm saying? There's no women going out there, you know what I'm saying? Because women is more judgmental than men. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have it, women ain't going to look, 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 turn, turn their nose at you. You know what I'm saying? As far as a man, you know, men, and men, we, we see a broke female, okay, I can help her. You know what I'm saying? You know, she probably got some qualities, got some potential. They, I mean, there's very few women that going to help our men. They, they dead broke. You know what I'm saying? Some real shit. I'm just keeping it 100. Where can they go? Where can they go? You know what I'm saying? So you look at the, this, you see, one of the mass incarceration is always men. It, 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 well, not always, but majority of the time be men. Mass incarceration be majority of the time be men. Then you got, you know, homeless people be majority of the time be men. You know what I'm saying? Because where can they go? You know what I'm saying? Where can they go? There's no programs here for us. You know what I'm saying? So it's just we just out here deprived. And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm black. I'm not saying white. I'm not saying Jews or Gentile. I'm not saying Chinese. I'm saying speaking for all men. Where can we go? You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, you just, right now, that's why I said this learning lesson why I'm going to do this. I said this made me closer to God because what can I, you know, I was thinking about in my last video, where could I go? You know what I'm saying? I always said the, the families depend on me and everything, and I gotta go out and do this and do that, do that, do that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard to be a man, and people don't speak on that shit no much. What well, do you think? Suicide, mass suicide rates be men. You know what I'm saying? We don't live that long because it's the pressure. As in the Bible, we supposed to protect and provide. That shit ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? Given we don't uh, have a baby, but. We, that shit ain't easy. Protecting and providing is not fucking easy. Definitely we got people that, you know, we know what's right, but they want to do things on their own. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that women don't supposed to have a mindset. I prefer women have their own mind than just to, to do anything what I tell her to do. Because I love a, uh, another opinion. Because I might be wrong. And I need that other opinion. Like, okay, we could do that as a plan B. You know what I'm saying? I need that other opinion. Or we could do that as plan A. You know what I'm saying? Because my shit sound fucked up. Your shit sound way better than mine. You know what I'm saying? I need a women with their own mind. The last two relationships I had was really uh, women that's trying to follow my order. And then when they go wrong, it's my fault. You know what I'm saying? It, like, it's, like, in the end of the day, if I still listen to you, it's still going to be my fault. But I need that extra extra opinion. Oh, what if we do this and critique this? You know what I'm saying? I need a woman that's like that. You know what I'm saying? So, it just said, this is this title of the thing, it's called Where Will Man Go?